Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another reading week in my life. Since it has been so rainy recently, I've just been in the mood for thrillers, mysteries, anything that feels like fall. I just finished reading Five Survive by Holly Jackson and she's the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder which I absolutely loved that book and Five Survive did not disappoint. I was literally up all night and I could not put the book down. I read it in one sitting. It was so stressful but so good. And now I'm going to read a mystery novel. It's not really a thriller but I figured a mystery would be good for a rainy day like today. So I'm going to be reading the fourth book in the Truly Devious series. It's called The Box in the Woods and this is the first book in the Truly Devious series. I think it was originally just supposed to be a trilogy and those three books are covering the Ellingham case and this book is covering the I think it's just called the box in the woods case or is that hold on I actually like I know what I'm talking about I actually don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> okay so the main character Stevie she is going to a summer camp and this camp known as Camp Wonderfalls is the site of the notorious unsolved case, the Box in the Woods murders. So this has alternating timelines. You have current day and then you have the 1970s. And I just love that format and I loved that the other books also had that kind of format. So I'm very excited for this. I think it will be really good because honestly, the Truly Devious series is just such a comfort series for me so and then before this month is over i finally need to finish this book <laughs> this is the third book in the mortal instruments series it's called city of glass and if you're new to my channel this is my current relationship with the shadow hunters books okay so we have the infernal devices and that is my top tier I love it so much. I would do anything for Will Herondale. Then we have the Last Hours trilogy. It follows the children from the Infernal Devices trilogy. Absolutely loved it. Then we have the Mortal Instruments series, which I'm currently reading for the first time. Not sure how I feel about it yet. We'll keep you updated. And then there's the Dark Artifices, Artifices? I don't know how to say it, but I've only read the first book in that trilogy i think it's a trilogy i've only read the first book in that one so that's my current update but i think i like i'm pretty pretty sure that the infernal devices will always be my number one because you just can't beat will herondale like i have read so many books throughout my life but will herondale is just the number one male character that i've ever read so but anyway, I am excited to continue this series even though it's been a bit of a rough start, but I think it will be good. You guys told me to just hang in there, so I'll keep you updated. Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are, are yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry Things I 
finally right With you and I the future is bright So it's been a couple of days since the last time I talked to you guys and I did finish reading The Box in the Woods. I loved this book. I think that this was the perfect addition to the Truly Devious series. The one thing I will say is I really missed the academic setting in this because the first three books take place at Ellingham Academy and I just loved the boarding school vibe of that. I do think that it was perfect for July because it kind of gave me that autumn feeling with like the mystery aspect but then it still gave me the summer feeling with the summer camp aspect. So I feel like it was perfect and I just really love these characters especially Nate I feel like <laughs> he is just such a mood throughout the whole entire series especially this book like I was laughing so much and I just feel like these books are perfect if you want a mystery but you don't want something that's like really heavy or really dark I think I'm gonna give this four stars I'm not entirely sure yet I think I need to sit with it for a little bit I think I might rate it even higher than that i don't know so i'll give you my final thoughts in my wrap-up video and i'm about 77 percent through city of glass and i'm really glad that you guys told me to stick with the series because the whole jace and clary plot is finally over and i'm so glad yeah i just feel like a lot has happened in this book and i feel like i don't know it was a little slow maybe the first like 30 percent but once i got through that i just felt like i was kind of flying through it so I'm excited to share my final thoughts with you on this as well. Um, so those are my reading updates. And then I also have a small book haul. Um, so as you guys saw, I went to the bookstore the other day and I picked up two books. The first one is One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. And I am kind of intimidated by this. I've never read any of her books before. She also wrote The Atlas Six. Um, but this one is a Romeo and Juliet retelling, but it has like magical elements to it. And so I think it's like an urban fantasy. And I really love this edition because it has these really beautiful illustrations. So excited for this and I'm just excited to like read a new author. Um, and then I also picked up a paperback copy of Love on the Brain. I do have the book of the month version, but I wanted the paperback edition to match my other books by her. So this is the one book that I haven't read from her yet. So I'm very excited. I think it's so cute. I just love a good pink cover. And my final update is I made a TBR jar and I've seen other people do tbr jars for their tbr for every month and i just think that it's a really cute concept and it looks really fun so basically you just pull out a prompt and then you pick a book from your tbr cart to go with the prompt so for example it says most recent purchase so basically i could pick from one of these books to read with that being said i need to actually set up my tbr card so let's go see how many books i have on my physical tbr <laughs> I have 18 books that I still need to read and then I also have one library book which is Queen of Nothing and then I put some cute little stickers on my cart. I got these from Etsy 
and I was going to put those on my Kindle, but I ended up doing something different. So I thought it'd be perfect to put them on here. So what do you think, Pops? <laughs> Which one do you want to read first? <laughs> it's like a million degrees in here. I don't know why I'm wearing my comfort sweatshirt. Now is not the time, but <laughs> Here's my card. I love it. I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be so fun to like do a little TBR video each month. And then whenever I get more library books, I'll put them on the bottom shelf, but I love it. Very excited. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me this week and I will see you guys very soon for a TBR video and a July wrap up. Bye guys.